Arkansas Turnover with reveal. eight. See, they were worried about Dowda again. They were worried, and I'm sure Ayanna Moore would like a little bit of this game back so far. She is such a dynamic scorer. Um, she's struggling. She's one for five. She's not struggling to the level of Cambridge, but she's getting around the basket, and she's throwing up some tough shots. I think they're all wor worried about Miriam Dowda. 6-0 run for Vanderbilt in front by four. A little extracurricular activities going on here after the dead ball. Things yep. getting dicey. A couple little pushes, and I don't see anything Vandy did. I don't see much Arkansas did. Miriam. Double technical foul issued. Offset, okay. and we'll play on. Yeah, we'll play it so it's a double intentional, and kind of wrap her arms around her. Go up with it. Daniels, and she'll go to the line. Big play, and a technical foul. And a technical foul after this. michaela has been pretty emotional today. This is a big game for both teams. Gonna count this basket right here for Arkansas with Michaela. Samara Spencer's a little laughing. I don't know. Well, the officials Michaela's are. not. There's emotions. They're gonna get over there. This is this is gonna be a long game. There's gonna be a lot of reviews. They're gonna count this basket. The foul was on Jordan Oliver. Really nice move. Let me tell you who's calm and collected. Miriam Dowd. She's over there. Everyone's kind of emotional. Samara. And so there's the play. All good. See, she got in her face. And and oh, and then oh, and then see they're gonna call another devil technical. Vandy had this okay. There shouldn't have been a foul, not much there. So Michaela got in. Oh, Dowda threw the ball. And when that Dowda threw the ball off the head. They're reviewing this now. I bragged on is, Dowda too soon. This is going to be tough if it there was Dowda involved, there was Daniels something. Yeah. And if it's, remember, Daniels already has one technical. See, that's a foul on Michaela. You can't do that. Oh, so. Well, Pierre also caused it, so Pierre's going to get a technical. Miriam Dowd is going to get a technical, and Michaela Daniels is going to get a technical. That, boom. They may not give Dowd a one. They may let her fall also. Right, one right. One thing I know in coaching, you always got to talk to your kids about your break. You know, there's not much foul right there. Michaela Daniels fell down and kind of, you know, yeah, Michaela's just way too emotional right there. Michaela's a good player. She's been here for five years. Probably can't do that. To me, there's three techs. Uh-oh. Don't you think? Well, he, if the officials view that as taunting, then it would probably end up being an easy call. But either way, this is worth the time that they're taking to review because it's going to be crucial to both teams' success. Fine staying in the nice game, but it's probably going to be her fourth foul Arkansas got six bench Josh and compare that to Vandy they got 18 bench points Vanderbilt two players ejected Camille Pierre for Vanderbilt and Michaela Daniels for Arkansas because both of them had an intentional earlier and add in a technical now so they are both ejected from the game arkansas still will have one free throw coming because of the and one play by daniels that's a tough one and on senior day the player that's played more games than any player in arkansas women's basketball history on her final home game no, there is still one home. more home game remaining for the yeah. razorbacks and that's good because that's not the way you wanted it to end no. for Michaela Daniels but there will be one free throw for the Razorbacks and then at the other end there will be two free throws for Vanderbilt because Dowda was also yeah. assessed a foul on that play as expected yeah. so you 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 hey. predicted it you said there was probably going to be three and there was yeah and this is interesting because I think Keats was already in the game so I don't think Keats can shoot the free throw I think the sub has to shoot the free throw or not so we saw, you see Pierre leaving the game, Camille Pierre. 
but I don't know if the officials have realized this. They're going to let her shoot it. She's a great foul shooter.